In this video, we're going to show you about owning your own solar panels. We're going to show you that solar equals dollars. That is, solar panels on your house or on your property is a financial investment that brings returns. You don't have to have a big house to put solar panels on it. It's a bunch of solar panels on this house. You can have a really small house and put solar panels on that. This is a tiny house built on a trailer with solar panels as the roof. Hey Claude. Hi Carla. I just wanted to ask you a little bit about the solar panels you have on your house. Okay. What made you decide to put solar panels on your house? I wanted to see what it would be like to live a fossil fuel free existence. Oh wow, that's cool. What did you do to have that happen? The first step was I got in touch with the solar installer and had them put in a solar array. And the obvious place to do that was on my garage roof because it's unobstructed south uh, facing exposure and that went so well that I decided to put a second array on my main part of my house. Wow, so you have two sets of solar arrays. So the first array was a 3.68 kilowatt array and okay. the second one was a 4.8 kilowatt array. Can you tell me something? Do you own your solar panels outright? I own my solar panels outright, yes. And so as a solar panel owner, you get some rebates for these? Well, yeah, because I own them outright, I got a 30% uh, federal tax credit when I bought the panels. So that means that instead of costing me, you know, the full price, I got them for 70%. Oh, that's... 30% off. Wow. That's the federal government that gives me that 30%. And then are there other rebates that you get? Well, for yeah. There's another program called the SREC program, Solar Renewable Energy Credits. Now, is that a state program or is that a national program? That's a state program. So it's something that exists here in Massachusetts and there are other states that have very similar programs, but not every state does. I see. And so how much money do you get for those SREC, those credits that the state of Massachusetts pays to you? So for every megawatt hour of electricity I generate, so here you can see the electric meter that measures the electricity that I make from my second solar system. I have actually two of these meters. This is the second one. This, what, what you see up there is a number of 15,000 something. Well, that means 15 megawatt hours. So for every megawatt hour I generate, right now one gets about $240. And so my other system has also generated uh, about the same amount of electricity just over 16, this is just under 16, so we'll call it 32 megawatt hours, 32 SRECs I've generated. Uh, over the entire history of your owning these panels. Of, yes, that's true. And over the entire history of the uh, existence of these panels, which has been, you know, two or three years. Right. And what is the state of Massachusetts paying for the SRECs right now per megawatt hour? Per megawatt hour, it's not actually the state of Massachusetts that pays you it's the electric utilities buy these SREC credits so that they can meet the state imposed requirements of generating a certain percentage of their electricity renewably. The utilities are paying now about $240 a megawatt hour for these SREC credits. And I'm in a program and the, and the current program if you start you get 10 years of this and they pay you every quarter. Um, wow. So, and it's $240 per megawatt hour generated so that's 24 cents a kilowatt hour. So if you think about it... It's slightly less than what the electric companies are charging their regular customers for electricity. Right. Now what's interesting is with these SREC credits, I'm consuming this electricity. Those 30 megawatt hours I've used to run my lights and my electric car and I've used it to heat and cool my house and also to heat hot my water. hot water. Wow. So even though I'm selling these SREC credits, it doesn't mean that I don't get the benefit of using the electricity. I'm almost uh, getting double duty out of it. Double free electricity. Double free electricity, that's right. That's what it boils down to. <laughs> that's great. So now SREC credits are only available to people who own the panels on their roof or that's on their right. land. That's right. 
the asteroid credits go to the entity that owns the solar system. So if you have an arrangement with your solar installer whereby they own the system and you're just paying them, uh, let's say, a reduced cost, you know, a, a good deal on your electricity, uh, that's it. You don't get those asteroid credits. They get them. Right, and you don't get the federal tax credit and either. you don't get the federal tax credit, or actually right now there is a state incentive as well, uh, depending on the size of your system, and that's a state um, tax rebate. Oh, wow. Um, so, you know, that's, that's a little bit of a rebate that the state of Massachusetts is offering uh, currently. Yeah, you don't get any of those. Right, right. Well, that's, that's nice that the state is doing something for people, as well as the federal government, and that own their panels outright, and I suppose that to own your panels, you could consider all the finances and say, okay, well, maybe I w could take out a small loan if you needed to. Right. Potentially, you could use a home equity line of credit. You could use, you know, whatever credit's available to you. And there are special loans in certain cases specifically for solar systems. So one should investigate what's available out there in terms of financing because there is an advantage to owning your own system. And there are programs that try to make it easy with very low interest rates for owners of solar systems on, on their own house. Right. Thanks so much, Claude. I really appreciate your taking the time to talk to me today. You're welcome, Carla. I was wondering if you could tell me, if somebody wanted to put solar panels on their house, do you have a way for them to think about how many panels they might put on their house, how big a system they might need, how much it might cost, and what their savings might be? Yeah, well, I think the best way to, to sort of get started on that is to go to the uh, website, carlislesolarchallenge.com, and you'll find a web page that looks like this there. And this is a, a calculator. Uh, it's really easy to use. And all you have to do, it needs just one number, which is your average monthly electric bill in dollars. So let's say it's $100, just because that's easy to type in. And, you know, it makes the obvious calculation that it's going to be $1,200 a year that you're spending on electricity. And it also tells you that you need a 5.2 kilowatt solar system. It will cost you $19,000. Now that price, $19,000, that's based on... Based on the simple notion that it costs a little bit less than $4 a watt to have a solar system installed. Oh, okay. Okay. That's, you know, that's for... an easy calculation then. Yeah. Okay. And that's, that's residential. That's a residential number, you know, for these big arrays that you might see out in a farm field. The cost might go down. Yeah, they're not, it's not that high. But for residential, that's, that's what it costs. But the good news is that you get 30% federal tax credit from the federal government of, of what you spend, which in this case is $5,500. And here in Massachusetts, you also get a state tax credit of $1,000 it tops out of the thousand. It, it actually is based also on a percentage of your system, but because the cap is so low, almost any residential system of any size will max it out at a thousand dollars. And then in Massachusetts, you also get the Solar Renewable Energy Certificate Program. And what that means is that you get 24 cents for every kilowatt hour you produce over 10 years. So not only are you saving all the money that you would spend on buying electricity from a utility, but you also get 24 cents a kilowatt hour. Now, all of this is based on these assumptions over here. And we're assuming 18 cents a kilowatt hour. And you can change this number. If, if you know what you're paying per kilowatt hour, it might be less, it might be more. Actually, here in Massachusetts in the winter, we're paying well over 25 cents a kilowatt hour. But in the uh, summertime, it's more around 18 cents. You know, as you pointed out earlier, Carla, this also assumes that the panels will generate a certain amount of electricity. And what we're assuming here is that the, every kilowatt of panels will produce 1,225 kilowatt hours over the year. If you have a very shaded situation, you might want to reduce this number to 1,000 or maybe 800. So, Claude, when you're looking at this calculator, so it tells you that approximately you'd get 6,300 kilowatt hours a year with a 6.3 kilowatt system based on the shade conditions that you put in. I'm wondering about how long would it take for you to get your first megawatt hour? The SREC program, each certificate is for a megawatt hour of electricity, and that's a thousand kilowatt hours. And if you scroll down here, you'll see exactly how the production goes. And you'll see here that every line, every row here is a month. 
And your first SREC comes in four months after you've turned on your system. And then the next one comes after another three months and so on. 6,000 kilowatt hours a year is six SRECs a year you're generating. Your SRECs come quarterly. They don't send them out every month. So. Right. So within that quarter, if you've generated your megawatt right. hour, you're then you... get the $240 check. And it actually works out here because you're generating more than one every quarter. Some quarters, you're going to get two checks. So right. that's where, why you see the $480 here. Yes. So you can see the income coming in. This calculator takes into account the, the federal, the state tax credits. Here's the amount of money you spend up front. Mm -hmm. Here's your federal tax credit coming in six months. That's an average, depending on when you start your system. Here's your state tax credit coming in. Before that, you already have an SREC, and simultaneously with your credits, you have two SRECs coming in. And so if you take out a loan, you could be cash flow positive in six months, as you can see here. Why don't we go back to your bigger calculation? Right, right. So we hadn't talked about a loan yet. And we hadn't talked about financial returns. So the cash purchase is the simplest situation. You, you pay for it outright. Outright. And then typically you're going to be cash flow positive in five years. And this uh, has six years. Six years. Well, that's because our shading here, if we went with 1225 like we started, then you're going to see your five-year payback. So you can see that yeah, obviously, if the less shade you have, the faster you're going to make your money back. Right, right. Um, and you're making money because partly in Massachusetts because of these SREC credits, in addition to the counter costs involved when you're generating electricity instead of paying the electric company for the electricity that you generate. Right. If your electric company is only charging you five cents or seven cents or eight cents a kilowatt hour, it may not be worth. Yeah. The, these, these financial calculations are not going to be as favorable. So that's something you want to check. And you want to make sure that you do plug in the right number here under how many dollars per kilowatt hour. Right. That's a very crucial number. You want to make sure you have that right. If it's a lot less, you want to plug that in and see. So then what happens here is here's how much money you make after 10 years. And solar panels will last 25 years. So over a 25-year period, you've brought in $46,127. Nonetheless, when you invest and put solar panels on your roof, you're actually going to get money on top of your investment. And you're doing something good for the environment. And you're reducing or eliminating your electric bill. That's right. Which is a great thing. Indeed. Hey, Claude, thanks so much for taking the time to explain all this to me. Sure. Do you have anything else you'd like to add? Well, the other thing I'd like to point out is that this calculator assumes that you're going to replace 95% of your electric bill. So you're paying the utility $1,200 a year. Well, you're only going to get $1,140 of electricity a month because, you know, we're talking 95% here. You could put this at 100 and then these two numbers are going to be the same. But they're trying to be a little bit conservative because if you generate an excess, there's no way to cash it out. You get a credit. You can try to sell it to somebody else, but you can never get it back from the utility directly. Right. So they try to be a little bit conservative in, so that you'll in, never be in the situation of having a credit that you can't cash out. But I tell people, look, you should size your system for quite a bit larger than... Your uh, current bill is. Yes, your current bill is because there's all kinds of ways to use electricity coming down the pike. And a big one is the electric car. Electric cars are going to be everywhere, and it really makes sense to size your system bigger because when you have that electric car in the garage, you're going to be using more electricity and you're going to be real happy to be able to drive for free. So as a matter of fact, 12 panels on your roof is enough to produce all the electricity you need to drive 12,000 miles a year. So you might want to think about oversizing your system. And the other two technologies that are out there that use electricity and displace fossil fuels are heat pumps for heating and cooling your house as well as heat pumps for heating your domestic hot water. So a lot of people are converting over to those technologies and uh, getting rid of oil burners and even natural gas. And so you really ought to think about maxing out your roof with solar panels because it's easy to use electricity. Remember, they're up there for 20 to 25 years. You might as well think about the future. Right. And if you have kids that live in the city, you can share your excess with them in their apartments in the city, you know, that's and right. that would if be... If it's the same utility and it's in eastern Massachusetts, then you can swap out 
and sell your excess or give your excess to your kids or or your parents or whatever. Sounds great, Claude. Thanks so much for taking the time again. I really appreciate it. Solar's popping up all over the place. It's, it's on people's houses. It's on big box stores. You see solar farms over old landfills. You see solar farms out on the clover leaf of the highway. You see it on banks. You see it on cars. You see it on signs on the highway. You see it on carports. You see it in parking lots. Everybody's going solar and solar is popping up everywhere. Well, that was good of them to put on and smart of them. That's the whole thing, right? Putting on solar is not only good, it's smart. I wanted to see what it would be like to live a fossil-free 